this problem on your own, then press play and we'll solve it together. Just make sure you slow down, give it a shot. I actually got this wrong the first time I solved it because I tend to rush. Uh, but give it a shot, take it slow, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Let's start by reading the problem. It says that uh, the graph below is a jogger's speed, so someone's running along. Uh, during her 20-minute jog around her neighborhood. So you can see on the time axis, it does stop at 20 minutes, and here on the y-axis, we have the speed. Which statement best describes what the jogger was doing during the 9 to 12-minute interval? So let's find that. We've got 9 minutes here, and 12 there. And if we look up, we can see that in this interval right here, the line, the, the height of the line is not changing. So what is not changing? The speed, her speed is remaining constant. So here, choice four is the answer. I think I said choice one when I, I, I was solving this. I chose she was standing still because I was thinking of a time and, and distance graph. If this was distance, every time the line was flat, her distance would not be changing, so she wouldn't be moving. But this is speed. So when the line's going up, she's actually increasing her speed. When the line's going down, she's slowing her speed here to a stop. You can see she's stopping at 20 minutes. And these flat lines here where the slope is zero mean her speed is not changing. So choice four is the constant rate. Thank you.